Hello everyone. You all already know me. I'm Moxie, the irresistibly cute mascot for this channel. You've probably seen me pop up in a few videos and a lot of thumbnails. Those of you who have been to any of Jay's earlier streams have also seen me there as her Discord reactive image PNG tuber avatar thingy. But now that she's got her own model, I've had some more free time on my hands. So I started working on this very important video for Jay. So let me tell you a very important story. You see, I've known Jay for a long time, longer than maybe she realizes. You see, I've been there since the beginning, really. The fairy dancing around her bedroom. So, let's start at the very beginning, shall we? Long ago, in the year 1996, there was a single mother getting ready for childbirth. However, she felt that something was wrong. It took some convincing, but the doctors gave her another ultrasound. This turned out to be a good thing, as the woman's baby hadn't properly turned yet, and its head was stuck inside the mother's ribcage. They would have to do a c-section to safely get the baby out. The baby's grandparents, who were busy doing picture day at the school they both worked at, quickly dropped everything and drove to the hospital as fast as they could. That year, early in the fall, just as the leaves were turning bright crimson, a baby came into the world. One that just narrowly escaped a potential death. And that baby was Jay. She was raised in a very traditional Roman Catholic family by her mother and her grandparents. But it was, a clear, but it was clear that something was different about her compared to most other children. Her eyes were wide and beautiful, and she could see the faces of the fair folk in the grass and the rocks. Her heart was big and passionate, filled to the brim with emotion. Her words were specific and wise, as if said by an elder. Her questions were unique, and not one that often were being asked by her peers. Well, soon enough, an explanation would come. You see, in third grade, she was diagnosed with ADHD. And right after graduating middle school, she would be diagnosed with autism. Her big passionate heart was due to emotional dysregulation. Her aged sounding vocabulary was a result of not understanding the way kids her own age talked. Her strange questions were due simply to her brain processing information differently than neurotypical people. But of course you already knew that. At least if you're a regular viewer, you have probably heard Jay mention both her ADHD and autism a lot. <sighs> Sorry, I'm stalling. This is a lot to talk about, even for me. But Jay trusted me with telling this story, so I will. Jay has always had mental health issues at one point or another diagnosed with depression in sixth grade. She was in high school when it was confirmed that she had been suffering from visual and auditory hallucinations, anxiety disorder, panic attacks, PTSD, extreme phobias. All of that was, well, let's backtrack a bit. 
Remember how I mentioned that Jay was raised Catholic? Well, she's not anymore, and this isn't meant to get into an argument about religion or anything like that, but you can probably already guess that since she's ex-Catholic, she's got some religious trauma. Then there's all of her near-death experiences, some of which she experienced as young as the age of five. Her, she has plenty of abusive ex-partners. She's survived sexual assault, medical trauma, lots and lots of bullying and discrimination. You see, when, when the human brain goes through this much trauma, when the human brain goes through this much trauma, serious, serious amounts of recurring trauma, there's something that can happen. It's a condition called Dissociative Identity Disorder, or DID for short. For those of you who don't know, DID is when someone's brain can't cope with the trauma that they've experienced. So their brain quarantines it off. Better to never remember something so horrible, right? So it it quarantines off this information, and to defend itself from remembering, it creates alternate personalities to protect the brain from its own memories. In case this sounded familiar, uh, but you didn't know the name, DID is the, the newer and more accurate term for what used to be called Multiple Personality Disorder, or MPD. Last year, a little after halfway through 2021, Jay was officially diagnosed with DID after having had her suspicions. This was one of the roughest periods in her life so far. For a short time, she shut out all of her friends, even her partners, and her family. God bless her family, but they just didn't understand it and they didn't know how to help she had so many doubts so many fears she didn't know who she was she had no idea what was going on inside of her own head she knew that she knew that in the back of her mind she'd always had her suspicions but the brain is a tricky thing, and the whole reason why uh, the brain develops DID in the first place is to make sure that you never find out about it. You never remember that trauma and that pain. It, it, it makes excuses. It rewires your logic. The moment you tr get close enough to finding the truth, it starts pulling all of this acrobatics, trying to make you forget about it. It, it comes up with excuses. It, it, it makes logic when there is none, just so that you don't have to think about the fact that you don't remember what happened to you for several hours. You don't remember what, how you got from point A to point B. It, you don't understand why your friends are telling you you said or did certain things that you never said or did and probably never would ever want to say or do but eventually she did find out the truth and when she finally broke through that wall everything came crumbling down on top of she thought that she was a monster. She thought that she was bound to hurt someone. Or worse, the fear that she had already hurt people and had no way of controlling it, or stopping it, or even remembering it. She... 
She's always been too kind for her own good, if you ask me. The idea of even accidentally or unintentionally causing harm to any living thing, even something as insignificant as a fly, is an overwhelming sense of devastation for her. She thought that she should be dead so that she couldn't hurt anyone. And she tried. She tried multiple times over the course of two weeks. But with time, her friends found her. At that time, where she was so lost in the dark, her friends became her light. Every single one gave her kindness and hope and compassion and love and she wouldn't be here without you guys. So thank you. Thank you so much for being her light. She knows now that she's not a monster. She knows now that she doesn't deserve to die. She's taking each day at a time to learn about herself, to learn to live with herself, to love herself, all of herself. And that's where I come in. You see, I've always existed inside of Jay. I'm that voice in the back of her head that's constantly telling her to create art. Then back in 2020, when she first wanted to start getting more consistent with YouTube and content creation, she made me. She commissioned a couple artists to draw me and she gave me a bit of a personality and some backstory and well, it turns out that when someone with DID puts that much effort and that much personality and so much of themselves into creating a character, sometimes those characters develop into their own full personalities, like I did. I'm not just Jay's mascot. I'm a living, breathing part of her. As of the time of writing this script, Jay has 32 different personalities who share a brain and body with her, not including her. And yes, that is a lot, even for people with DID. But it makes sense because she's just got so much trauma that she's trying to unpack, and it's, it's not a bad thing. It just means that there's more of her to love, right? You'll be seeing a lot more of us around soon. And with the new Twitch layout that is going to be shown off once this video is done, you'll always be able to know who's fronting. We hope you like it. And want to give a huge shout out to V Mishi and Mikorin for helping Jay design this thing. All right. We know that you all probably have some questions about this and the content creation and everything really, especially if you're a newer viewer. So we're going to have a quick Q&A session after this video about both the VID stuff as well as VTubing and streaming and content creation in general, everything's on the table. But before I go, I want to give some special shout outs first in no particular order. Firstly, we'd like to thank one of our closest friends, Rukmal on Twitch. They are also plural, and they, if they hadn't given Jay countless resources about all of this, then things probably would be a lot less put together than they are now. Next, we want to thank Vmishi and Mikorin, who were the only two who knew about the VTuber debut in detail 
before now because they both helped with artistic feedback for all the stuff that we made for this live stream. Except for this pre-recorded video. Because this was something we had to do by ourselves. Thirdly, we want to thank Dragon Artist 3 and Kimma for being two of the world's most amazing partners. We all love you very much and are so grateful for everything you do for Jay and for all of us and for being the partners that she was never fortunate enough to have before. Finally, we want to thank all of Jay's friends. Whether you're an online friend or an IRL friend, we're really sorry if we didn't include you in the Glowing Heart segment. We only had a set amount of space on the screen. And if you didn't show up, that's probably because we didn't have a copy of your profile picture. And we didn't really want to go asking around for them since this whole thing was meant to be a big surprise. But thank you. Thank you all so much for everything you do to help all of us. And thank you to all of our viewers for making this worthwhile. All right, without further ado, I am gonna turn things back over to Jay or whomever is fronting at the time. I'll see y'all next time. Bye. -bye.